Hey guys, it's Irish again. Uh, in this video, I thought I would continue my series on how to configure the more popular desktop environments. In the last video, I showed you how to do GNOME, uh, since you know Fedora or, uh, Ubuntu is going to be switching to the GNOME desktop environment as their default. Um, I thought this would be a good, like a newbie type of thing too, just to show you what each desktop environment looks like, how to configure it, and then maybe you can see for yourself which one you like, and then if you do go for any one of these, you'll know how to, you know, configure it. So, this is a basic, right out of the box, uh, on Arch, XFCE. Depending on your distribution, you may not, uh, you may have some custom customability, uh, especially Linux Lite is an XFC based distribution based off of Ubuntu and they theme it up very nice. So, uh, and then there's, there's Ubuntu and others that have their uh, main distribution, Manjaro, and they theme it for you, but if you don't uh, are on Arch or just decided instead of going for KDE, you want to go with XFCE. I'll show you guys how to do this. So, uh, right off the bat, you'll see that these are panels. So, this, what looks like a dock, is actually another panel. So, if we right click, we can say panel, and then we can add new stuff to the panel or we can move it, but I'm going to remove it because I'm going to put in another uh, application called Docky, uh, which will do a much better job. So we're just going to right click and remove. And then it just asks if we wanted to remove this. Panel preferences. So we can go between the two. So we'll say panel two, which is down here. And then we'll say delete, and then this will be deleted. So I'm going um, to to do this similar to my last one. So we're going to find another uh, wallpaper here. So you're just going to right click this time, and then you're going to say applications. I'm sorry, desktop settings. And then these are the default ones that come with Arch. Again, you can go onto the website and find a different one if you want, but uh, we will go with, oh, we'll just go with one of the default ones. So we'll go with this one. We'll say close, <clears throat> and this will automatically do it. Now, do say that you did download something uh, and you want to add it, you're actually gonna have to add this uh, whatever uh, background you want into where they keep this so that's the only downside to XFCE and the cool thing with XFCE and uh, I will be covering Mate is that you can change the background in say like uh, two minutes so we'll go down and we'll say two minutes so and then you can say random order. So this should change in about a minute. And so and so if you have like a bunch of wallpapers that you want to cycle through, it's easily, you can do it in XFCE. Where in GNOME, uh, it's not as simple. I think uh, there's no way to do it uh, by default. So uh, in the applications uh, menu, uh, this is the generic one, but there is an actually a better one. So if we right click on the empty area in this panel, say panel and add new items, there's a, uh, a, a different uh, application menu called whisker menu. So we'll add that, and as you can see, it's over here. So we're going to remove this and then we're going to move this one over 
and then as you can see the wallpaper changed so um, this will I'll just keep this on so we'll uh, close this out and then it, you'll see a big difference so right now you uh, can type in say Firefox and it will find it or you can find Conky or whatever you want and it you could do a hover but I don't have that uh, enabled right now so you can go with games uh, play like a chess game or nibbles which is a uh, if anyone remembers what snakes was uh, you could play that uh, multiple players so it's got a, a good decent amount of applications by default so the next thing I like to do you can color this so if we go right click on here and then we'll go to applications and we'll go to settings and then we'll go to appearance so if we do this so we can change our icons now in the last video showed about arc icon theme so if we do that as you can see this changed so if we go to the gnome one or even the high contrast you can see a change right there so we're going to go with the arc theme here and then we'll go to arc dark and then by default or it will enable the dark theme of the arc gtk theme uh, you could add different uh, widgets in this app uh, panel here so if we go here uh, there's the applications menu that we got rid of there's the battery monitor there's the clipman the clock which is right here CPU frequency so if we do CPU graph and add you can see it right there it always adds it to the end and then this is your username and then you could log out log in stuff like that uh, shut down reboot just based off of this instead of having to type it into the computer uh, to the terminal and then there's different other other uh, other ones that you can do like uh, weather update you can add that and then we could right click and we'll go properties <clears throat> and then you can do units you can go Fahrenheit or you can go Celsius uh, stuff like that so this is built in so you don't have to do really anything uh, I'm very close to Monmouth Illinois so it is storming here um, but again this one is very simple to configure unlike GNOME where you actually have to uh, buy another or download uh, a separate tool to do this it comes by default where you don't have to like get a tweak tool to do any of the theming here uh, same thing with this one like you can just go properties and then you can just do t two rows and as you can see you have workspaces that you can toggle between without having to do some weird uh, co key combination and this is still on X server so it is not on Wayland yet so if you're still a little hesitant on Wayland then this is a perfectly good one to, to go to plus if you are moving from Windows to uh, to Linux XFCE might be good because this is very Windows like uh, application launcher so this is a nice uh, desktop environment that can slowly transition you into the Linux world and you're not going to be completely lost like it tells you what each one of these does so internet graphics so if I had GIMP involved it would be under the graphics so if you did want to have a, a dock type thing right there we'll just open up a terminal here 
So it's called uh, Daki. So this should be in every repo. So if you do, so again, I'm on Arch, so we do sudo pacman s Daki. There are other docs out there, but this is the one that I do prefer. Uh, if you do want another uh, alternative, I can do a video on it just to show you the differences. Um, but this shouldn't take too long. It has 12 dependencies to do this, so we'll let this download. And again, if you had like a ton of GTK themes installed and everything else, so if we go to settings manager we did the appearance here we can do the power manager now the xfc power manager is very powerful i did use it for a long time while i was on i3 so if we do the power button you can hibernate shut down or ask what to do same thing with the lap laptop lid and then you can do keyboards preferred applications. Um, again, this is very simple, but it's very powerful, and sometimes that's all you need. So you can do desktop, so menus, and then you can do icons here, menus, so you can put, like on Windows, you can put Firefox on the desktop without having to change a setting. Okay, so now that's done. So we'd open this and we just say docky. This should launch soon. Yep, there it is. So you can change, uh, so you can add any one of these. Uh, so if I wanted to add uh, one of the games, say five or more, you just drag and then you just pop it right in there. And then uh, with docky, there is a docky setting. You can auto hide it. So this is classic. That's glass. There's the HUD. There's the smoke. And there's different. And then you can transparent it. You could also do docklets and helper. So there is a bunch you can do. And then you can have one dock along the side. I've seen other people have done that. Like a dock along the side and dock over here. So if we close this, it's a nice uh, pair, uh, transparent one. And then I believe there is hiding. So intelligent hide. So this will hide itself once, yeah. So if you go full page, full screen, it will hide until you go down there. Or you can just hide it by itself. You could also do Docky on GNOME 2. I didn't show that in my last video, but I've never been a Docky type of uh, user, but other people that have awesome screenshots do have Dockies or do have Docs installed, uh, and they do look good, but it's just not what I like right now. So. Uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to theme KDE because out of all the desktop environments, KDE is the most customized one that you could probably do. And it's not as simple as XFCE or GNOME. There is a lot of navigating the menus and it can get confusing if you don't know where you're going or just don't have time to go look through all the menus, all the settings that KDE has. Plus, I think they did have a new KDE come out version. I think they're on version 10. So it'd probably be nice to look at the newer version of KDE. So I will probably make that in the next couple of weeks. But uh, I just wanted to make this quick video. Uh, and hopefully you guys have a good weekend and a good night.